Hello? Damn, 50. I just fixed up one of your soldiers last week. Cause he didn't come in with nine bullet holes. Doc, how'd I get here? <laughs> your boys brought you in here three days ago. Half dead, if not more. Yo, man, try to relax. I'll give you something for the pain. <laughs> hey, we all need our medicine sometimes. Know what I'm saying? Doc Friday was a crazy fuck. An ex-doctor who lost his license when he started writing himself prescriptions. Some said he wasn't even a real doctor at all. All I know is he'd take care of me, fix me up, and keep his mouth shut. Yeah, some painkillers. Take some of these whenever you need them. And those suckers will get you through anything. They're addictive? Of course not. <clears throat> oh, by the way, those on the house. But next time it's gonna cost you. All right. Go back to sleep. Just close your eyes. And think of pussy. Truth is, there isn't much else I could do. And the happiest thought I could think was finding the motherfucker who bent me up. A couple weeks later, I was back on my feet, but feeling weak as shit. It was time to get some help from my friends. What's wrong with you? You should go see that crook Bugs at the pawn shop. Moet and Chandon were hoes, eternally grateful, because I got him out from under their pimp, a nasty nigga named Raul. Oh my god. Oh, you alive! 50, baby, we were sick about you. We've been in mourning. Even got us these new funeral outfits. Nice girls, but I ain't dead yet. You let us know you need anything, okay, baby? Okay, you can count on that. Hey, 50. I love you. I do not know much about that, baby. Why don't you try that pawn shop guy, Bugs? You know that guy from the pawn shop? You know, his name is Bugs. He was rolling around here asking about you. Mm-hmm. Bugs was the owner of a local pawn shop. A good dude to know if you needed information. <laughs> Once in a great while, he even sold something. He was in a wheelchair. Most people assumed from a drive pile. He started that rumor himself. Troop was a dumb fuck fell down an elevator shaft when he was 12. What the fuck? That's my stereo. And my plasma, too. What's all this doing here? You were shot nine times, dawg. How'd I know you was gonna live? Man, get this shit delivered back to my crib. Hey, sorry, man. Sup, my nigga? My man Grizz the one to see about this. Time a ghost put a boot up your ass. Yeah, I know you know this old class. Grizz was another friend, a Gulf War vet who enlisted because he liked to play with guns. Truth was, he still did, even though he lost his trigger finger in the war. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? You okay? Yeah. Moving a little slow. Don't worry about it. Time heals all wounds. Fuck that. I'm looking to create some wounds of my own. Tear up the motherfucker that did this to me. <laughs> shit, well for that, you're talking to the right nigga. I'ma need to get some of that shit. 
Well, shit, man, what you need to do first is see popcorn, you know, get your skills back together. That crazy ass motherfucker. The Rialto used to be the hood's movie theater. As kids, we spent a lot of time there escaping reality. With the help of some angel dust, popcorn escaped reality for good. Ha! Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Give me that shit. What the fuck, man? You out your goddamn mind, you stupid fuck. Mama says stupid is as stupid does. <laughs> what the... Man, hey. Popcorn's whole life was movies. He quoted them all the time. Before it shut down, he practically lived in this place. After it shut down, he did live in it. He turned it into a shooting range. <laughs> what is your major malfunction, numb nuts? Hey, my man has got to get his skills back together. I'm done with ya. You. You're gonna spit nails. You're gonna eat lightning and crap thunder. Just get me back in shape, Popcorn. Okay, but it'll cost you. One million dollars. How about this instead? <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. After weeks of training, I finally had my strength back, ready to find out who shot me and why. More important, I was ready to make him pay for it. I was over at the pawn shop earlier and Booker came by looking for you, baby. Don't be pressing me, okay? I ain't got nothing right now. Maybe later. All right, man, stay strong, man. Booker was a homeless dude. Started hanging out around the hood a while back. For some reason, K-Dog took a liking oh, to him. Oh, hey, son. Good to see you back. Sorry to hear about your friend K-Dog, though. Terrible thing, that. Terrible. Thanks, man. See McVicker around? <laughs> the cop? Parked right up there around the corner. Is there anything you don't see? Can't see no leftovers. Here, man, take this, man. Get yourself some real food. Oh, bless you, son. God bless. Aaron McVicker was a corrupt cop, a rogue detective who played by his own rules. They said cops are made of blue. Well, this cat was all about the green. Well, well, look who it is. For a while there, I thought I lost my best customer. It'll take more than nine bullets to bring me down. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember that. So what's up? I need some information. Ever see those skateboards? The new fiberglass ones with the chrome wheels? My kid loves those things. Fucking expensive, though. Especially on a cop salary. Here we go. What? I'm just saying, they're a lot of money. Okay, how much? For a fucking skateboard? Kids got expensive taste. So what do you want to know? I'm your 24-hour information station. Hey, you can start by telling me what happened to K-Dog. Last I saw, your boys was putting him in the squad car. And after that, the FBI took over the case. They're holding him as a witness. A witness to what? The fuck do I know? They got him in some safe house. Supposed to be talking to some federal prosecutor. 
Where is it? You actually think you can buy the location of a federally protected safe house with this? Where is it? I need to see K-Dog. Yeah? Well, I need to fuck a supermodel. Come on, McVicker. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the address, but you're going to owe me one. A fucking big one. All right, all right. Where the fuck is it? It's in Scarsdale, up in uh, Westchester. You want to write this down? Give me a fucking pen. As soon as I left McVigar, I went to see Greg's. I knew if I didn't get to see K-Dog soon, he'd be dead. Shit, if I found him, anybody could find him. The dudes who ambushed us could find him, too. All right, look, man. Since you my nigga, the first gat is free. But after that, everything's got a price tag. Some s***. The gat's got a fast... Gat's good when you in a crowd. Its high fire rate helps to keep motherfuckers from closing in on you. 